Hi, I, I'm going to talk a little bit about the tradition of altars that Reclaiming has established in the context of the spiral dance. In the, the first spiral dance is, was in 1979 and it had pretty cool altars but a very small room in comparison to the, uh, in, in, uh, with respect to the amount of people who were crammed into it before the fire marshal uh, cut off any more access and refused to let any more people in. But uh, the first time, I think it was the first time we had it in the uh, Hall of Flowers, I had volunteered to work with Judy Foster on the altar, and the altar just grew and grew and grew. The following year, I think we were back in the women's building, and she created, using crates and other things, a whole wall of north altars at, at a corner, two walls where they met. Unbelievable. Also a smaller space than we're accustomed to these days. But it was, uh, Judy was an incredible altar builder and she loved to do it and she put everything on it, tons of flowers and fruits and tchotchkes and photographs and pieces of lace and pieces of pottery and just, you name it, wonderful stuff in, in a wonderful configuration. And she had some helpers that were sort of her apprentices. Uh, among them were um, Terry Compost, it still is Terry Compost, and Becky Filippello, who had a different last name at the time. I mention this in particular because Judy Foster is among the people I have called, as the mighty will be calling, um, from the mighty dead this year. And Judy Foster established or began this tradition, and it has carried been carried on by people who love her since her passing. And it has grown to the point where they are actually room-sized altars where you can walk in and meditate and be with the feeling of all the people who have gone and the people, other people who have come to this event with photographs and other mementos of their own beloved dead who end up on this altar. Um, and the other three altars, and now more than three, but the other quarter altars have also expanded to be nearly as big as the North Altar and quite spectacular. And in this new space, which I really, really like, Kizar Pavilion, because it was a, a built as a basketball stadium, has not only a very live floor, but also a huge bunch of, um, I'm having a senior moment. Bleachers, Bleachers thank you. <laughs> tiers of seats that also covered with altars and I have also made a point to tell my interfaith colleagues who are coming who, are done, who, who might arrive to also feel free to participate in those altars in the form of bringing something but at least to spend some time experiencing them and those are a heritage of our late dear beloved Judy Foster whose craft name was Calypso Iris.